What's cracking, y'all? And welcome back to the channel. Currently, I'm in the Rackley Roost right here, taking care of the chickens this morning. It's going to be another brutal hot summer day here in Texas. Got one of the stranger get ups I've had on in a while, but you know what? In the summertime, it just brings it out of you. Got to get the big funny hat out. Currently, I'm wearing boots and athletic shorts, but hey, you know, it's just how things get done. While it's been flooded around here, I've been going ham in the woodworking category, but it is time to dangle y'all. And I've been to six different boat ramps this week. They've all been closed. I'm tired of it. I'm heading up to Guggen HQ right now. I'm gonna hop in the yak. One of my fellow Guggens told me about a pond I need to hit up. So I'm gonna head up there right now, get some gear ready, and then we're gonna get out in the hot sun and do some dangling. Just got up to the HQ here, everybody, and it is actually popping in the store. I swear I did not plan that. Uh, everybody was grabbing mystery tackle boxes. So we had a bunch of those here for the grand opening um, and they're just about all sold out now. But if you want to get your hands on one, it's really easy. There's a, there's a thing called the interwebs and mystery tackle box has a website. I will leave it linked down below. If you use the code Mondo, you can pick up your first box for as low as five bucks. So they have standard boxes, they have pro boxes, they have elite boxes. What they do is they bundle a bunch of different baits, good baits together. They select the kinds of baits that you would want to use for that month, just depending on you know the time of your patterns and things like that. Bundle them together, you save money, it's delivered to your door, it's super easy. And because you don't know what's coming every month, it's literally like fishmas in a box. So today's video is sponsored by them, y'all. I am going to go out and fish this month's box out on one of these local ponds that I've never been to. And I'm gonna be using a kayak I've never used either. I'm used to using the, uh, the Hobie kayaks that have the pedal drive system. These have no pedals, they're just a paddle. So that should be interesting. That'll be a challenge for myself. It's not too windy, but I'm gonna hang out up here at HQ for a little bit um, and check out anybody that's coming through the store. And uh, I'm gonna wait for it to get a little cool because it, uh, it is Texas summer. So I'm gonna head out about four o'clock, give myself a few hours in the evening. Maybe there's a top water in here and we can get on something with a little, little splish splash on top, but I don't know, it's a mystery. We'll get into it when we get out to the waters. Okie dokie all, we've made it out here to the waters today. This is uh, actually one of our landlord's spots. He's coming along today. And got our uh, employee of the month, Garrett's coming along with us. He's working the store and he's taking a little time off to come out here and do some market research with some Guggen baits. We allow that, of course. Here's what we got here. I cannot believe how amazing this place is and I didn't know about it. So we have multiple different kinds of grass that is in the lake. We have uh, pond weed. We've got uh, a submerged and a, a terrestrial vegetation. Cattails, big lily pads, you name it. We've got it around the edge and we've got some open water out there. We have the yaks right here that we're gonna be using. I've never been in one of these, so this is gonna kind of be the challenge for me. Uh, these are the bona fide kayaks that we got up at the warehouse. So pretty convenient for today's adventure, but they are paddle kayaks versus the pedal kayak. So you're gonna have to like actually use the arms and put the paddle down and pick up the rod. Garrett has found uh, the jack one of my boxes that is actually perfect for this, for this pond. Yeah. Top water. It's got plastic and it has top water. It even has your wacky rig situation right there. Dude. That's from the last month. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous right now, honestly. But I'm gonna fish, I'm gonna give that to you. I think I might outfish you with this. You probably are gonna outfish me right with that. Because here's what I got going on. I got a jerk bait, which is tough to fish around grass. I do have a square bait. I have uh, Carl's amazing square bill. Um, this is the golden boy three to five foot. That should do some damage. Um, we do have the old line through swim bait by Optimum Baits, which I, I caught some fish on uh, 
last month as well. A little preview. We do have some drop shot looking situation, a Z-Man, a Last Tech trick shot. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go with the sweat bait. There is a jig as well that I can bang it with. And Texas rig weights, 5 sixteenths. 5 sixteenths is a great Texas rig weight, especially at this time of year for around the grass. So I'm okay. I'm going to be okay. I did bring a frog as well as soon as I heard that there was some grass in here. So uh, regardless, going to be throwing a frog at some point today. We were in the evening time too, which is nice. It's six o'clock right now, so we've got a couple of hours to fish. We're going to be hitting that evening perfect time where you think about summer. End of the day bite, that's what's going down. So let's put the axe in and let's snag a couple of green trout. What I'm noticing so far, there's little holes in the grass around the bank, and then right here it's super thick. So I'm thinking we're gonna have to fish out on this edge. Let's give her a go. Let's see how deep it is over here. There's reeds that like they're pretty much around the whole thing. But it looks like there's submerged grass on the edges. Okay, I'm thinking a good plan of attack here is to go with a crankbait and uh, the swim bait. So I'm looking at this pond and I'm going, wow, I need like a weightless plastic. Like that's, that's what I would normally throw. It's kind of windy though, which makes it difficult. So this will be a good way to just kind of try to find find some fish, see what they're doing. So we'll give it a shot. The good thing about this, this crankbait here, that's your standard size square bill right there, but it's a bluegill color. This water's fairly clear. So this should be a good color with these bluegill that are in here along this, these weed edges. So. For this, I'm going to be using a medium action rod with 10 pound fluorocarbon. Okay, we'll give this a whirl first. Then I'm going to switch to the swim bait if I start getting caught in the grass a lot. One thing you can do to kind of keep your bait up is hold your rod tip up. That'll keep that, that bait a little higher in the water column. Swimming above. There's definitely areas that are a little bit grassier than others i've drifted over to the side that's really grassy but it's not a bad thing oh got one. Oh, i think it's a bluegill felt it, felt it hit it like a bluegill it might be just a really tiny bass smacked it pretty hard for how small it is oh yeah they got monster skills in here monstrous gills if those are the size bluegill that are in here wow look out and i just discovered how delicious these things are so i might have to get my panfish rod out here and come back for you sir well, that's good that is good to know okay let's paddle on to a, another area how deep it is over here there's reeds that like they're pretty much around the whole thing but looks like there's submerged grass on the edges oh gosh bass grabbed it big time Oh man, he freaking smoked. I mean, he creamed that thing. Woo, watch them hooks now. Watch them hooks. Come on now. Hang on now, I'm in a kayak. Let me just grab you. Oh boy, he almost got me there. I have no pliers. Yes, you look like a Florida bass. My thumb is stuck in your gill. Rakers, I'm sorry. 
Oh yeah, dark, big mouth. Wow, bam! Nice fish. Snip you. Oh yeah, you smell good. You smell like a grassy bass. Woo! Love me a good summer grassy bass. A little crank, y'all. Absolutely smoked it. So you saw the size of the bluegill that I first caught. Well, you can't quite eat that one. That one is safe for most bass. You get up to about six pounds, they start slamming those guys. But that one right there is eating bluegill the size of my crankbait. My next idea here. I'm gonna I'm gonna put a jig on. I've got one of these lifted jigs 3 8 I'm gonna put a leftover uh, bandito bug that I modified look at these colors perfect match PB and J and a little bit of uh, Bama bug Bama bug right on that PBJ that's a good color combo on a jig represents bluegill very nicely so what I'm gonna do is try to drop this in some of these holes see if anything comes up really scared to stand up in this kayak but I'm gonna sh just gonna attempt to pitch it in there lock the drag down a little bit and I'm totally not equipped to really be fishing heavy grass here this is something you want to use like heavy braid heavy rod I've got a medium heavy action pole here with uh, 17 pound Guggen fluoro Sometimes around these reeds, there's clean water underneath it. I can find those little clean pockets where there's not all that wadded up grass. Could get serious. Go way in there. Nice thing about a kayak is you can just kind of subtly approach. Stealthy. From what I saw, the one bass that I've caught so far is it looked like pretty high Florida strain genetics. It's a good sign though. It means there's bait up in there. Oh, got him. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, I thought he was. Ah, woo! Another Florida looking bass. Boy, I had it just sitting there and he was munching on it. So got him on the jig. A little bandito bug, about the same size. Florida, dark, dark lateral line. Pretty fish. That was fun. Okay, so kind of figured out here that that's two fish kind of close to this weed line and there is a, a clean spot that's in there. It's definitely a spot I want to focus on. Like I'm not, I'm not getting all the clumpy grass on my, there's another one. Oh my gosh, I launched him. Holy cow, that's a bluegill. Oh my gosh. No, that's a, that's a some sort of sunfish species right there. I absolutely wonked him. Hashtag wonked him. That might be a war mouse. Woo, boy. Sorry about that hook set. If you notice the color on that guy, real similar to my jig. And that wind just takes you about 14 feet away from your cast and that's called kayak fishing. There's another one. Got him, good one, I think. No, just a regular. Just one of the local regulars here. Ah, I keep thinking there's gonna be a mondo in there. Okay, the jig is coming through hot right now. Jig and bandito bug. Nice. I don't know where that noise came from. They're hanging on to it really good too. That means that's the forage they want. That combo right there, like a peanut butter and jelly colored jig. This is a 3 8 it's kind of a casting style head more than a flipping, but it's a pretty good jig. A uh, bandito bug on there, it's a perfect trailer. Oh, 
There's one. Oh, crap. A little too late. He took a pincher. That little son of a gun. That was probably one of them big gills. Okay, paddled myself into a little bit calmer waters. Let's see if this works out. That that area I was in was juice, but I couldn't keep on the spot. There's still some gaps in this grass up here though. Should be should be a few in here. Not a huge fan of the ooh, there was a boil right in front of me. Not a huge fan of the the paddling versus the pedaling. I guess I've been spoiled by fishing in a paddling or a pedaling kayak and I don't have to take my hands off the rod, which is awesome. But this is nice that I can stand up in these. do something that I probably should not do and that is called frogging with fluorocarbon and a medium heavy action rod but that is the stoutest thing I got and I happen to have a frog brought a frog with me and uh, there's no way that I'm not gonna throw it there's just no way I'm a jig man, I love fishing jigs. That's the key bite right now. If I don't get bit on this, I'm gonna go back to the jigging, but you know, we're entering the later part of the day, 7.14, been out here an hour, you know, caught four bass, not too bad. A Couple of huge bluegills, but I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen if I actually hook one on this thing, having this light gear, but I'm willing to give it a go, tangle with them. Another reason you don't want to use fluorocarbon on your frogs is there is a, the tag end of your line is going to catch on the grass. Of course, braid is so soft, it doesn't really do that. But uh, let's just see what happens here. Let's give her a go. Oh, yeah, went up, went up in that open water. I'm going to just give it a little bob and weave here. This might be just a sundown sort of scenario but kind of got tired of picking grass off of my jig. Oh my God, oh my God, that was a big one. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. Oh God, that scared me right in that hole. Okay. I'm gonna put my jig back on and catch a few fish right here. I'm just confident in that way on this little spot. And then I'll pick up the frog, try to get a try to get another couple of blow ups. Okay, I'm gonna paddle back to my juice stretch. Even though it's super windy over here, I just wasn't getting any bites over there on that other side. Whoa, that's a big gill. That is a uh, that is a uh, warmouth, I believe. Yeah. Okay, for shiggles and gigs, I'm gonna work this frog around some of these reeds if I can actually get my boat to cooperate. Very difficult. Very difficult in the wind. It's the prime hour. I've I've put down the jig. Doesn't like me. By the way, this frog's not in the box. I'm just just half a fish frog right now. How can you not fish one? Oh my god! Wow terrifying strike.
Yep. See you later, good spots. Bye. Oh, God. Lee put it in a sugar pie and he whopped it. Can't get it back in there. Got you, boy. Yeah. There we go. There's me a frogfish. Absolutely hose hounded it. Yes. There we go. All right. Oh my God. Oh, I saw that one. Oh, that was behind the back. Two and a half pounder. You guys never did see it. Completely came out of the water. They are absolutely, they're tacking, but they're just not, just not grabbing. That, that one was not me. Oh God, oh, God. It came off. I got a hook in him. Got a hook in that one. Oh my gosh, you have to love frog. I've caught like one out of nine blow ups. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> oh man, I gotta work on my frog game. This is the one that just blew up right here. And he go. Hey, go. It's pretty cool when you get to watch it happen just right in front of you like that. So I couldn't buy a bite out here in this grass earlier. It's just it's low light. It's got them looking up, ready to slurp. Oh, God. Just didn't get the hook set. Waited. Had the timing down on that one. Just did not get him. Oh God, got him, that's a big one. That's, oh my God, he got off. Oh God, that was a five, six pounder, jeez. <laughs> I actually had him too, oh my gosh. That, that is why you don't use pork iron. Oh man, I feel like an idiot practice what you preach but i did i just didn't have i'm not in my boat today i wasn't expecting this so that was a freaking toad oh my gosh catch a bunch of twos and then that one comes up Blah. I, I got to see them too flopping around that was that was cool that was worth every bit of getting in this kayak coming out here even to lose that fish just to see it Pretty awesome. I love frog fishing with 50 pound. That's really my favorite. Keep some 50 pound Goog and Braid at all times in the truck. You'd think I'd be smart enough to do that as much as I dangle. Oh God, I should have had that one. I wasn't even looking. Wasn't paying attention. Got it again, and I got him. Oh, subtle bite. Subtle bite, came back and got it. Barely, barely got it. You were close enough where I could hook up on you, buddy. <sighs> the final sniff of the evening. Beautiful, beautiful grass fish. I've enjoyed getting out here today, y'all, and catching these fish, getting a little evening frog action. Shout out to MTB again. Link will be at the top of the description, guys, if you want to go sign up for them. They've sponsored me for a long time, and I appreciate them. And I know, I know they would be hitting the like button right now. 
they love frog fishing too. I hope you guys hit the like button for some frog blow ups as well. One last, one last F. And it's time to shut it down. Subscribe right here to the channel so you don't miss the next dangle, y'all. And I'll see you then. Later, baby. Go get big.